go. All right. Okay, so uh, we are here at uh, Great Divide. We are in downtown Denver, and uh, you can kind of see the barrels uh, behind us. So we're actually at part of the area where they brew, I guess. Yeah, I think this is the original brewery opened uh, in the 90s. Yeah, you said it had been way back to the 90s. I didn't realize it had gone back that far. So, But such um, a big name. It is. Great Divide. Um, yeah. Just to recap, or how we usually do this, uh, pint number one, we ask for the best sellers. Best sellers. Yes. And so you went with? I uh, went with a hazy IPA. That was her first recommendation. Basically, it's an IPA, she said. People love it because of that. Um, and whatever, 6.2%. And Kevin went with? Uh, the strawberry rhubarb uh, sour. So 6.4%. 6. 6. Actually, actually, that did me on this one. Which is odd. Yeah. yeah um, kinda, I'm kind of feeling uh, a little cheated at this point. But, you're going to uh, have I'll to catch, catch up. up. Time one. Here we go. Oh. 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 Is it good? Oh. Is that an oh, oh good? Or this is... That was a good oh. This is good. It's a hazy IPA. Yeah, it's exactly what you thought it was going to be. Almost exactly what I thought it would be. 100%. Explain that a little bit, because I don't know hazy IPAs very well. <sighs> Obviously, kind of, you can't see through it. Right. I would say it's kind of a mix, in my opinion. It's probably This is probably way wrong, because I'm not a, a brew connoisseur. But, um, so you've got an IPA, which is usually either maltier or hoppier, kind of that bitterier, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's when it's a hazy, I think it's it's got elements of that, but I would actually then add a little bit of like a heft to it. Okay, uh, like that, more wheat? A little bit, that's that's kind of my opinion. That might be way wrong, but that's kind of how I, I view it is. It's got a little bit of that in it, maybe like a 20% feel. Kind okay. of feels like that. That's kind of the hazy, I guess, part to me. Hoppy uh, enough for you? I could go hoppier. Okay. Yeah. But that's what kind of the hazy kind of usually takes away from that hoppiness, I feel like. That hoppy or malty, whatever. How about you? You, you, you seem to like it. Um, I don't normally like sours just because it's mm -hmm. like, tastes like it's gone bad. Sour. Yeah. <laughs> it's scuzzy. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this one is, uh, it's very sour up front, but it doesn't last. Um, Do you taste the strawberry? Yeah. It's Does like that help smooth it? It's like tart at the tip. And then as it goes down, it's very smooth. It kind of reminds me of a sour that I had uh, from Weldworks, uh, which is up in Greeley. And it was like really good. That one was like a little bit more creamy. This kind of has like almost like a little cream at the end. I'm digging it because it's so smooth. Uh, and it's not like sour. making me pucker not up or anything like that. Okay. You want to try it? I do. All right. Swap. Let's do this. Interesting how the song changed, right? When we right, yeah, and new change. Yeah, we shipped it into new uh, new beers. Okay, um, definitely a sour, but not a sour. You're right. It, it's like a fruitier sour. So yeah, it does. It does. It doesn't give you quite that scuzzy. Mm -hmm. I, no scuzz. Yeah, but suds, suds, suds. That's a no scuzz. <laughs> suds. I like. Yeah. Um, the hazy IPA for me is about like the absolute limit of hops that I can that you like, can handle that I, can, that I like can handle like or would in, like enjoy, enjoyably exactly. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I would actually order something like like the would hazy you? IPA, okay. knowing that I know what it is now. All right. Um, good. Yeah, it's good. Um, down to the last, last part of pint one. A little bit uh, of sips. strawberry rhubarb sour. Hazy IPA. Um, I really enjoyed this. I didn't think I was when Sarah, the bartender, said like, oh. It's one of the best sellers. Yeah, I'm just like, I oh. kind of like made you do it. I was like, well, well that sounds like yours. He, he, hazy IPA has your name written in it. I don't think you can spell Hazy IPA without some of chat. Right, Anyways. it's in there somewhere. Uh, yeah, strawberry rhubarb, what? Like, yeah. I've had the pie, but the beer, 
whatever. It's really good. I, I like it a lot. It was good. And it's like sneaky because with the with the 6.4%. Oh, like, that'll, that'll creep up on you. Yeah. And one fun fact about uh, Great Divide, I don't know if you knew this, but they pride themselves on high alcohol content beers. Ooh. Uh, learned that from Wikipedia. Thanks, Wiki. I, I could see that. Yeah. So one of my favorites that I was saying about in Los Angeles was uh, the Hercules. Hercules. It was a 10 percenter. Okay. Double IPA. Ooh. I don't even know if they make it anymore. But, but anyway, back to uh, the let's uh, let's finish these off. Let's do and uh, decide. Okay. Does Great Divide uh, pass the one pint to go on to pint two? One, two, three. Yes, yes. definitely. Okay. This is not even not even close not to yet, a doubt. Yeah, no. Pint two, uh, we always do the same one, uh, and then we do seasonal. And since it's fall, uh, there should be some. There's some nice options. Okay. Uh, so maybe maybe we'll get a recommendation from Sarah. Yeah. Let's see what's up. I think so. Here, Here we, we go. go. Okay, we've been advised uh, on the seasonals uh, by the, the fantastic bartenders here at Great Divine. And what's up? Um, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna make our decision on three. Uh, which one do you think we should go for? Pint number two. Are you ready? One, two, three. Pumpkin ale. Okay. I like it. Sweet. Nice. I did. I did that for him. He knows it. That was. I, I appreciate it. That was a little sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Pumpkin ale. First one. Um, we went. We tried. Hey, say hi. Is that Sarah? This is Sarah. We were, ta we're totally talking cool. about you over she, there. She's been begging to be on camera, so uh, <laughs> we, we, had to, we had to get her on. I'm busted. We have a three pint challenge. We, I technically liked the stout. Perfect. But I, I knew he. Did. But I might reject. Can we try the, the pilot release from today. The what? The pilot release. There's a pilot. What's the yeah, pilot release? Yeah, so we release a new beer every Thursday. Okay. This okay. one is the chocolate raspberry yeti, known as raspberry brownie. Ooh. I feel like I have to do this as a shot. Oh yeah. So we just Chugging do it all is necessary. Okay. Awesome. However, not required. But okay. Encouraged. Encouraged. All right. Here, Here we, we go. go. Nice. <laughs> Oh my god. That's exactly what that is. That's really good. Okay. What do we have here? The pumpkin ale, 6.4%. Right on brand with Great Divide and their strong, strong uh, beers. Every, everything's pretty much, I, we can't really find anything less than six. I mean, the color on this, it, it basically looks like a Coke. Like, it's almost, as far as color, almost to the stouty yeah. color, but it's thinner. It's and, not as... Yeah. Well, and truth be told, we did we did try a sample. We, we did try They were very generous, so we uh, accepted. It's a good carbonation for ale. I don't taste any pumpkins. You don't taste oh, oh wow. That's that's good. It tastes like medicine in here. <laughs> Maybe we try that one just in case. What's this one? Hibernation. Is that the winter season? Yeah, winter season, yeah. Oh right. Okay. That's alright. It feels like winter in the morning. Um, Let's get down to business. Yes. Pine two. This is very, um, ooh, ooh, ooh. like, um, this tastes like, almost like <laughs> Shinerbach to me or something. Shinerbach, okay. You know, it's kind of rich. Rich, but not, but it's dark, but it's not, it's not quite stouty, but it's on the, it's on the yes. way to... Uh, yeah, the ale stout continuum, yes. if you will. And I'm making stuff up right now, but... <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, it's pretty good. I will say... Pumpkin ale, like you, you had questioned it during the tasting process. Where's the pumpkin? I don't taste it. I told you. Remember, I said this over there. That's what I'm saying. I was like, "Where's the pumpkin?" And I'm searching for it. Nothing. No. I would just call it like an ale. <laughs> I would just would just leave it as ale. Like I can't. Yeah, I dark can't, ale. Dark ale. That's that's what it is to me. Yeah. But yeah. Nonetheless, still good though. Enjoyable. Is this just our second beer? It is. And a lot of samples in between. Okay, all right. Well, we have the samples, and no, and no food, but still. Great Divide is not messing around with its uh, alcohol percentage. Yeah, the, it is just. Woo! That was a good one. Ooh. Uh, no. So we're down to our last dregs of pint number two, and uh, after we finish these, we will decide 
if Green Divide deserves a shot at pint number three. Here we go. Yeah. So on three, we're gonna decide yes or no if uh, Great Divide de deserves a third pint. You ready? Okay. Count us down. One. Wait, that's not down. Sorry. Count us up. Count us up. Count us down. Just give us, give us a count up. Uh, or count up. Three. <laughs> two. <laughs> right, These are so strong beers. Uh, right? Okay. On What's three. going on, on here? Three. On three. All right. Count up. One, two, three. Yes. yes. Nailed it. Let's go. Pint number three. It feels like pint five. I'm not going to lie. Not, strong. Not, in a, not in a bad way. Just um, yeah, no, it's cost effective, really. Uh, yeah, well, yours is yours is a peach one, now, correct? Uh, peach oh, yeah. milkshake IPA, peach milkshake which, IPA, which uh, weighs in at six point five alcohol percentage. Okay, and I forgot what this one was. Do you remember? It's like the cinnamon. Is it on that menu? Let me go ask. I don't. I have no idea. It's good though. Wait, was anyone up there? No, I just looked at the tap. Oh. They were busy. Gaga's Peach Cobbler IPA, 7%. 7%. And it looks identical. Like, My, I think mine's like, yeah, they're the same. It looks like a glass full of orange juice. It's just basically orange juice. Or peach juice. We're fooling you. Pint three. It's really good. It, it, I feel like I'm having like a mimosa. I would probably never, normally never order this. Right. And that's the beauty of this whole series, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Like it's, we're, we're trying these, we're going outside of our normal zones and this is definitely yeah. not in my zone, but it's really good. Uh, yeah. And when I first, when I did the, uh, the sample of this, it, it tasted harsher to me. Okay. That's why I was like, I should probably do this one if yeah. we're going to do it. And I gave you that one. But it, it doesn't... Smooths out a little bit. Let me, let's, totally, let's get a reminder. Totally let's get a reminder. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. It's like maybe... It's, it's, it's smoothed out a lot, right? It's smoother in like a bigger glass. I don't know if that yeah. makes a difference. I don't, I don't know either, but it's, it's like up there... It, it just tasted the cinnamon was stronger or something, something like was, that. I don't know what it was, but now it's it's really good. And like, I feel like that that cinnamon uh, spice feel to it is like perfect for this season. You know, like the trees are right. changing, the leaves are right. falling. We've almost done like another seasonal. Yeah, exactly. But it's also something that's unique and different. So we kind of hit two of them on this one. Good, this is good. Well, now going back to that, like going from that to that, I miss that. Right? I miss the I miss the, the holiday spirit. I miss the spice. This one's just like, it's like an orange Julius. You know that old orange? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's like frothy or something almost. Southwest Plaza Mall. Yeah. The old food court. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. Do they still have those Orange Juliuses? Are those in existence at all? Are there still Orange Juliuses out Tell there? Tell us. Let us know. I am feeling very... What's the word? Drunk? I don't know. I'm feeling The Great Divide. Ah. <laughs> Something's going on. I don't know what it is. So, we are at the critical point of the three pint challenge. Third pint. Last sip. Good. How'd that feel? Great. It's a good last last finish. Good, good smooth finish for me. So smooth, so smooth, so smooth. Very impressed by the peach milkshake. Yeah. Idea. Uh, so here's the moment of truth. Great Divide Brewery. Great Divide Brewery. That reached three pints, no we problem. Got, we got to the third. We got to the third. We got to the third. We, we did all three. Does Great Divide deserve three pints of approval? Here we go.
Run. Uh, Great Divide Brewing Company. Uh, great place. We were split tonight. We were. First time. Which is okay. Which is great, actually. It, gives, it makes it seem more authentic. What's up? Hey. YouTube. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yes, we were split tonight. Um, but I think it was just based... It wasn't based on actually Great Divide as a... As a brewery because I, I do like them it was based on what we had and I, I did it solely based on that on uh, on the selections that we had so that was that's why we were divided for me great divide it was we were we were greatly divided it was more of a fray than a divide yeah like yeah. I feel like we, we we agreed pretty pretty strongly pretty well, yeah. on two of the three pints right it, it, and yeah. I just gave the benefit Oh, yeah, yeah. Tied to the runner. And I did not. Out of the plate. Right. It's all good. I think we were both kind of torn a little bit, and uh, I went the other way. Good experience anyways. It was great. Um, bartenders were awesome. I will come back here 100%. I like how intimate this space was, too. Yeah, it's good. Um, good space, good music. Um, great variety of beer, too. Always. So, that's a great divide. So, on to the next adventure. Here, Here we, we go. go. Two. Two. Here, Here we, we go. go. Click. Yeah. That's a lot. Okay. <laughs> Is that a lot? Can we can we pull that off? Whoa. Whoa. Yes. Yes. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> 